of my bosses will call me and say, Brett, there's just been disaster X in country X. Can you get there today? So I'll scramble around, try and find an airfare, coordinate with everyone else on my team and with people that are part of what's called the Global Shelter Cluster. So I'll coordinate with them, we'll be online, we'll be SMSing, we'll be calling each other, I'll be out preparing emergency goods, satellite phone, visibility vests and all that kind of thing and then work with others. We'll try to get on the same flight so we can work on the way over and that's normally what happens. My name is Brett Moore, I'm from Melbourne in Australia. The work that I've been doing most recently has been concentrated on post-disaster and post-conflict response and recovery. For the last four years I've been with World Vision as their Global Shelter Infrastructure and Reconstruction Advisor which takes me to many parts of the world, looking at the immediate period after disaster, so a lot of emergency work, then following right through to recovery and reconstruction work as well. A strong interest in justice, global issues, and certainly around travel and adventures brought me into the humanitarian field. I'd been working as an architect in Melbourne in Australia for about four years, but really knew my interests were taking me on a different path. The biggest step for me was after the Great Asian Tsunami. That led me to a six month contract in the northern tip of Sri Lanka. In the end, I stayed for nearly five years there. And that really led me through the recovery after tsunami and what then re-emerged as a conflict. Often when we're working in situations related to conflict, there's an additional layer of challenges because we might be working with ethnic minorities or we might be working with religious minorities in complex historical context. We always work through the local community and nearly always with our local office. The biggest challenges for us are around access, always trying to get to the most affected areas. There's many reasons why I've kept doing this work. I mean, it's largely addictive. Humanitarian work gives you such a buzz. You're out there in the field dealing with people in extreme circumstances. And it brings you out of your life. It takes you away from the regular life that you have in a developed country context. My year here so far in the Loeb Fellowship has been amazing. My work in the humanitarian field has really been a natural fit with Risk and Resilience Track. So that's been a really great first step for me and opened my lobby up to a lot of opportunities, working with faculty, working with students, supporting the projects and opening doors for them to get them further exposure to humanitarian work.